Everyone here is five more minutes of potentially useful League of Legends information. Also, don't forget to join the Discord and check out my Twitch. All right, let's go. 62% of teams who take Rift Herald first win the game. You can use Redemption even when you're dead. You're 10% more likely to win the game if you get first blood. You can use Rise's ultimate to teleport Rift Herald, which will also change the target that Rift Herald is focusing on. Anivia and Zac have wings next to their level, which show if they have their passive up or not. This also works for Guardian Angel. Similarly, this also works when you buy items like Banshee's Veil and the shield is active. If you have both a passive and a shield, both of them will show as well. I mentioned this in one of my useless videos, but I thought it was pretty cool. Orn can break walls like Jarvan's ult and Anivia's wall. Honeyfruit always spawns between 6 minutes and 6 minutes and 30 seconds. Also, no more than 2 honeyfruits can exist per half of the river, and it also restores 3.5% of your maximum health. Each section of a champion's health bar represents 100 HP. The stats gained from a champion level is usually worth more gold than the amount of gold you'd receive from a champion kill. If you destroy all 3 inhibitors, the amount of super minions per lane will double. Did you know that heal is actually a targeted ability? I feel like it's a known fact that heal can affect two people, but you can also hover your mouse over the specific ally you want to heal when using it. If no one is under the cursor, it'll just heal the lowest ally in range as usual. Also, in case you didn't know, heal has an after effect, which means champions who are healed will also receive a debuff for 35 seconds that decreases the effectiveness of additional heals. This means if you're unsure if the enemy used heal or not, you can left click them and see if they have a debuff. Darius automatically auto attacks enemy champions after he pulls them in. In other words, wait a second after you pull them so you don't misclick and you can land your full combo. While there are no minions nearby, towers only take 33% of incoming damage. If the turret isn't aggressive on you, the turret will prioritize targets as follows. First, the closest targetable traps like Shaco boxes. Second, the closest enemy pets. Third, the closest enemy siege or super minions. Fourth, York's Maiden of the Mist. Fifth, the closest melee minion. Sixth, the closest caster minion. And finally, the closest enemy champion. In order to maximize your ultimate's range when playing a Skarner, turn around right before it runs out so they have to run through you to escape. When you're playing on ARAM, some champions have specific buffs and nerfs. For example, Akali gains 15% bonus damage and receives 15% less damage, while Ziggs does 18% less damage and receives 15% more damage. You can use Viego's Mist to do a camouflaged recall. I feel like most Shen mains are aware of this, but you can use some abilities like Shen's ultimate, Lulu's ultimate, Tom's W, or even Zillion's ultimate on your teammate's champion icon here very helpful for quick reactions or preventing misclicks. Inhibitor turrets regenerate their health up to three different checkpoints. If you have three caretaker shrines out, you can place a fourth on an ally and it will not get rid of any of the first three. There's a line on ARAM that's almost to the exact range of the fountain tower range. You can turn on mana costs in the settings, which is extremely helpful, especially for figuring out how many spells you can cast before you're out of mana. You can use Control F by default to toggle the FPS display in the top right corner. Instead of the slash mute all command, try the slash ignore all, which mutes taunts and laughs as well. Or just play a less toxic game. Teleporting to a minion makes it temporarily invincible. This is great for when you're trying to take a tower, setting up waves, or just want to prevent the enemy laner from taking a cannon minion. There's a ping you can turn on in the settings called Area is Warded ping that you can use to communicate to the rest of your team that an area is well warded. Where you place your wards may be more important than you think. For example, if you place a ward here, you won't have vision into the camp, but if you place it here, you will. One of Varen's passives is Baron Gaze, which allows the purple jiggly thing to take 50% reduced damage from the unit it has most recently attacked for 8 seconds. This is reduced to 4.5 seconds after it's slain. Vlad's ultimate will still heal him even when he's in Zonia's. If you're really lazy, you can move your character around by just holding down your right mouse button instead of clicking. You can see Misfortune's Q ricochet range if you use Quick Cast. Additionally, the second bounce on Misfortune's Q can hit enemies in the Fog of War or in the Brush even if you have no vision. A Siege minion with Baron buff can outrange turrets. The health relic respawn times on ARAM will show up at the top if you hit tab. If you want to save Guardian Angel's passive and are for some reason near the enemy base, walk into the enemy team's fountain and it won't proc when you die. If you're playing as Morgana, you can tell when someone is in a bush because their ultimate will light up. Quinn can use Prowler's Claw, Stride Breaker, or Gale Force to cancel her E animation to do a bunch of burst damage. When you're playing Fiora, you can proc the vital on the opposite side by autoing and then flashing over. Destroyed wards leave behind debris, and the brighter they are, the more recently they've expired. 
Attacking deactivated wards activates them and grants the enemy team vision. If you're taking an objective and you have a control ward blocking vision from one of their wards, there's no reason to clear them until the objective is taken. It would just give them free vision of what's going on. Hey, if you enjoyed, please consider liking and subscribing, and don't forget to join the Discord. We have a lot of amazing people in there, and we'll be doing some small giveaways soon too. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!